the right name of the chapel is the Chapel of St. Francis. The Chapel of St. Francis in the Makerere University. It was started way back as the university was by the white people. And uh, they, they, they asked um, the department that was concerned with the overseas work of the government of, of Britain at that time to, to source a chaplain or a person who would come and, uh, and work as a chaplain of the, the young university. And um, they recruited Reverend Fred Weldon as the first chaplain and to teach in the in university some subjects because you realize that the community was small it couldn't occupy a, a whole person so you they they decided that he would he would join on being chaplain he would also teach they wanted somebody who would fit with the students and fit with the staff as well. Fred Wilburn was a very interesting character. Um, he, he even practiced wearing kansu for his services um, when people were putting on black cassock and white places where, where he, he put on kanzu, the, the, the Ugandan kanzu. But also, the, he was interested. He was interested in uh, in uh, anthropology, um, and he studied the use of mwenge, mwenge, and he started proposing to the head, the leaders, and people how or whether they they would serve mwenge for holy communion. Because all the communion, the wine, it was, wine was strange to Uganda, and therefore serving mwenge would be uh, related to, to Uganda. Uh, that was re rejected. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, Fred Welcome. He served for some time, and then was replaced by Dennis Payne. Dennis Payne, P A P Y N E P Y. And the Reverend Dennis Payne, who later who served for, for quite a long time during the the, the time of Reverend Payne, um, Saint Francis was known as uh, uh, for his choir. The choir was very good. Um, he developed the choir, and uh, it was very good, very good. And then later. When he retired, he was replaced by uh, Reverend to, 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 Tom Tucker Nabeta, T.T.T. Nabeta, as we, as we knew him. And uh, he left to go to be assistant bishop of Soga. And that gave the opportunity for Yoram Bamnova. He came from Ankole and uh, was later elected to be the first bishop of West Ankole, West Ankole Diocese. Um, then was repressed by Reverend Elsania uh, Kasamba, uh, who is supposed to teach it this evening in St. Francis. Elsania um, Kasamba served uh, for 10 so years, uh, and during the very, very tough time, uh, right from the time of Idi Amin to the time of liberation uh, of, of uh, the movement, it is NRA, NRA, NRM movement, uh, and then I came in uh, in 1988 as his successor. You don't know St. Francis what it was. You cannot imagine what it was at that time. That time. The time I came in, the university enrollment 
or students was um, 7,000, 7,000 total, 7,000. And uh, the teacher, lecturer, the staff, uh, academic and non-academic, uh, would have been to about 200, 200 of those. Um, then we came in. When, when I, I, I came in the chapel of St. Francis um, for the two services, which was there, there, there on Sunday morning, um, there was about 30 or really about 40 people in the two services put together. And they are mainly, they were mainly old people all the people, lecturers uh, and uh, administrators working in administration. The young people had found alternatives for church. Um, Watoto had started and uh, it was called KPC. And uh, the full gospel church around the corner of um, Makerere was started. But there was the the redeemed church, the redeemed church opposite the uh, Makere College School. Um, and those were really, really working very hard. And on, on top of that, there was the Baptist church had started a ministry, not a church as such. They had started a ministry in Wendegia. And they still sell books at that place, um, and they had they had started an evening kind of function uh, where which attracted young, young people to that Baptist church. So that, that that was where the young people were going. The young people were going where they there was activity. Saint Francis, along with Saint Augustine, Saint Augustine always had the, the group with people. The people always um, came to Saint Augustine, but Saint Francis had been deleted, uh, depleted of people. Um, when we came in, therefore, the chapel closed Sunday, Sunday evening after the main CU, the main Christian union closed sun, Sunday evening and opened Wednesday evening for for the midweek Holy Communion and then opened on Sunday. It was literally closed all the time. Um, so when we came in it was an interesting an in interesting place. Uh, we, uh, we had I had I had grown up with a church where way in the village at the, at the border with the Wanda uh, in a church there in a place called Karushanga. And it, the church didn't have doors and everything, but there were people. People were always at the church. The young people, the, um, the those people, women who, 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 who called themselves Mother's Union or those who not aware it. But there were activities at that church. Now, when I come to Makerere, I find the church cl closes. Um, that was the first difference I, I, I found. But I had been given the keys to the chapel. So I decided to open the chapel and go in myself. They, the only other person who was the custodian to clean, to clean the place. But him and I were, were the people there during the week. I had opportunity of, of really sitting and, and, and waiting um, upon God and asking questions. Why 7,000 students? Why, why do we have so pe few people coming? And the long time short, the answer was, 
we were holding on 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 worship the type of worship that was a generations past um, we used the book of uh, common prayer and then we used a, a hymn book called ancient and modern revised so we were stuck in the past the students needed some some fresh 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 thing and uh, through the prayer and and leading of, of God we came around to renewal of worship renewal of worship in the church it 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 took the church by surprise to see their their chaplain uh, at the front of the church clapping hands and singing wildly jollily and clapping and then there would be my wife there somewhere in, in the congregation clapping they laughed at us but they like one person said to me one day we thought we, we thought you were doing what you are enjoying so they wanted to know what is this that I enjoy we can, we we worked on, on it with, with help from uh, for, from people of Anglican Church outside the country um, to to understand what it means what 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 was the spirit of the prayer book which we are using when it was made in 1662 and reading around it and studying from the examples given to me by by the people I understood that it was really holy spirit led it was a revival at that time but which was lost in traditions in in all sorts of uh, the changing of languages and cultures and it was lost the, the spirit was lost it was interesting to to find out from the same book the book of common prayer some guidance on how to lead the worship and uh, renewing worship therefore renewing songs singing new songs and and, uh, and, and old songs mixed together and we found we started finding life in St. Francis we first got that then, then we, would, we attracted the students to stay they were able to stay we attracted some of the of the of the staff to stay and they they stayed but some of the other people the elders all of the elders of the church left left St. Francis because they couldn't uh, go with the, the changes that were happening fondest memories um i remember the thing that start, sticks very very close to my mind is the influence we had among the young people coming to Makerere University at that time because along along their their coming up uh, they had met some of the groups we were working with in St Francis for instance if they were from western uganda southwestern uganda they had met kaim Kaimo was a group of people, the students, who were going back to Jerusalem with the gospel. And uh, the West Nile uh, Anglican missioners, they, were, they had also go. So we had mission groups out of the St. Francis going into the, into the, into the country. Um, then I, I remember that. I remember that is a very, very exciting for me that time i found of it but also um the the revival that was going on in st francis the revival talk about the the the, the worship the renewal in worship the building of the St. Francis Praise Group 
um, the, the seeing seeing it form and and getting used used by God um, to reach out to people. Um, it was it, we we served we served they served with me in the, in the two services at the beginning then they became three services when people became many they served with me and then in the evening we would meet at our house we were on 191 b kasubi view and they would come and we would then go into what we did how we did it what, what 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 was good what was not good and then we would pray and worship together that is something that you don't usually find in groups which serve like that they were very fond of that the, the, the memory the, the the recent renovation has changed some things on the chapels but they looked in fact, when I was there, they wouldn't allow me to touch the church. The, the, the university wouldn't allow me to touch the church because that chapel they, was built to look like the main building. And the, then it was St. Francis first and then John St. Augustine next. Um, they have St. St. Francis has been very generous with the color, yes. but it was the, the, even the, the, blo the blocks that finishes on every corner, if you look at them, they look like the blocks at the main building. The people at that time put it together, the central of the university, the center of the university. Uh, he has the main building, the administration and all these other things. And then the chapel on one side and chapel on the other side. In other words, the, the fathers of Makerere University built it to have the churches together at the, with the main building. Now, you may ask me, what about the mosque? Uh, the Sultan of, of when the the Sultan of Zambia, uh, Zanzibar, Zan, not Zambia, Zanzibar, came to see his son when he came to Makerere University. And he, he wondered where they would have Muslim worship. There was a mosque in, uh, in Wendegea, so they pointed at him that that mosque is in Wendegea. But uh, he offered to build the mosque in the shop in the university the small mosque at the uni at the, the muslim place was built by the sultan of zanzibar but the main building of makere university wasn't there wasn't where it is the main building was near makere college school so they put the muslims to the <laughs> the, the, the selfishness and all this kind of, uh, and, and segregation. They put the Muslims to build it in the Kalitusi. There was a field of Kalitusi there, way out. And the way God has has, has fun, the, the, the way God, God has humor, he put the main gate <laughs> next to that mosque. <laughs> so it, the idea of the other people, then the other gate closed. You know, the, the, the building that has a, a, a clock in the School of Fine Art? Yes. That was the main building of the university where, and, until the university was moved. I mean, the main building was moved to building. There. And then that, that closed, they opened the basement. We have known that St. Francis is a unique church in Uganda for the reason that St. Francis is only the Protestant church, the only Protestant church 
in Uganda. Because when St. Francis was built, it was to accommodate all other Christians other than the Roman Catholics. So the Moravians, the, uh, the, the Presbyterians, the, the Baptists, the, all these people who came to Makerere University, their home, religious home, place of worship was St. Francis. Even up to today, the person here as appointed chaplain of St. Francis is reminded of that history. Although, although now it is largely a, an Anglican church, but it, it accommodates everyone else. So, St. Francis, I told you St. Francis is a unique church, but also St. Francis is the lead church in Uganda. You want to do anything in the church in Uganda, you first do it in St. Francis, and then it goes throughout the country. Give an example. Worship with praise. And they, they, these days there is something, praise and worship, they call praise and worship. In almost every church, there is praise and worship. But it started with us in St. Francis, and I was, I was castigated for having that worship like that. In fact, I lost opportunities of being, doing something else because I was bound with the worship that was starting in St. Francis. But you now go, go anywhere, anywhere in the Anglican church, they start with praise and worship. Second, there is something called Marad's Fellowship. Marad's Fellowship was started by my, my wife for young marriage when we we had we started having retaining the students and then they got married to, to each other. And remembering that people, African peoples, the the young couple, the young married couple would be groomed by the aunties and uncles if they were at home. But this time this young couple is in Kampara. So they don't have uncles and aunties to to, to help them. Therefore, we agreed that they, they would help one another, form a group and help one another grow. That was called Young Marriage Fellowship, but later called Marriage Fellowship. Started in St. Francis. But go anywhere. Go, you will find Marriage Fellowship. In fact, Mother's Union was jealous that we had started a marriage fellowship that we wanted to kill uh, mother, Mother's Union. But the Sunday before this, last Sunday, St. Francis enrolled 66 young women into the Mother's Union. Something that can't happen, can't be seen anywhere else. So, my, my word, from Franciscans. You have the gift of God, the church that you have. You use, uh, not, uh, not use, you are supposed to serve in that church, knowing that that church is a lead church in Uganda. And whatever happens in St. Francis will happen anywhere else. Amen. The challenges uh, I faced had to do with first me as a person not being understood in in the in the, in the Anglican setting. Um, I I am very very outgoing with my worship. I mean, when I talk to God, I talk to God. Um, the, uh, the, the singing, I sing to God, I pray, I 
all these other things for they were at the beginning this was difficult for some people because they are used to, to you standing there and reading the prayers in the book and they following where you're reading and then you finish you are gone but this was difficult for me I am born in the revival church although I wasn't saved then I was born in a revival church where singing to the Lord meant singing to the Lord it meant jumping it meant dancing it meant expression when I came I that, that expression hurt some people and that was problem number one problem number two was the same same in the same area let me quote uh, Archbishop Livingston Mpalanyi Koyoyo he said to me uh, did this express express he was not opposed to, to our work to our renewal but it said it expressed the 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 way the people were thinking about us okay he said when they send they send their sons and daughters to Makerere University when they are in the Anglican Church and we in the Makerere University tra trans trans uh, uh, change them into being Pentecostal you know what that means they go out to Mukono, they go out to, they clap their hands in the, in the service. I mean, I mean, they are strange in the congregation. So the pressure is borne by me at the center of, of it all. Um, the last one was, was uh, um, the challenge, challenge, big challenge, was with um, wanting to build the St. Francis Community Center. We 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 took the exam we took the example of St. Augustine because the, we had been told that the land is finished there. There's no more land for church. But the church where the church is built it, is, is it. But St. Augustine, I don't know how they managed to get the plot where the hall is. So, so the they showed us a, a, an example that we could also go to university and ask for that because they had refused to help you know, to, you know, to allow us to ex expand the churches. They gave they gave me land and land the, the land was given to me in words where the round building is but this they said understanding was that we have to have 100 million 150 million shillings on the account of building before that i touch that i touch that one hundred and fifty million shillings for St. Francis at that time was quite high. We worked so hard, we fundraised, we did all sorts of things. We couldn't go to 50 million shillings. How shall we have one? But one day, The chaplain of Saint Francis, of Saint Augustine, came to me in Saint Francis and asked. He, they already had that that plot, and asked that they want to to expand. Then, then, the, but that was promised me when money is available, um, and he knew that the Protestants don't have money easily to build, so. He wanted me to 
to help to help him change swap that that plot with another plot i was not angry with the father kanyike because that dr kanyike i was not angry with him i was angry with my church i went to church on sunday and i poured my heart i don't think that i remember what i said they had the university gave us land now they are taking it away we don't have 150 million shillings on account huh well but by the next sunday we had 250 million shillings on their account the pa- protestants they don't they don't know how not to give but they don't give when they are supposed to so they gave us and i proudly went to university secretary and they said sir this is our account <laughs> and and he i allowed us to build we we built that building from the beginning to the end we ended without any debt this is the people who didn't have the 150 at the beginning we had spent over 500 million shillings on that building we didn't have a debt but fortunately fortunately we had other other services in the in the in the chapel which we used like the architects like the the engineers like the, these people managed the building and i would pass every morning and walk around and pass every evening and walk around and pray then we we, we had money left for which we used to start the second phase as they call it st francis chapel right in front of the st francis chapel there is a round building it belongs to the church to the to for the church use and okay. and this other building that is on, on the side that that means according to plan there is another building on on, on near st augustine mm-hmm. chaplain which is similar to the one on the side and then they will complete my vision when a mean was around people had no no way to put their their trust they a uh, their faith their their, their commitment of their lives except to god and because the idi i mean people picked up anyone and he was disappeared people started looking towards god so that they when they them they mean being in the event in the event of being picked out they would be they would be having a, a relationship with god um so churches were very strong during that time churches were very strong the church that wasn't i mean the, the churches that were 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 disturbed as small churches because it i mean had ordered that they the, these other pentecostal churches were the small churches they would be under church of god that was where it it was that but this time idi i mean is gone they then every church is independent now they go back to independence they are being under the church of uganda is ended and uh, uh, then the, 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 that is why i said when i was, when we when we when i started there there were these other churches around around the the, the university uh, they they had been released but like anything good comes this anything which is good coming will bring some challenges people begin to, to relax about the, the church to relax about religion then you could you, you couldn't find them they they started enjoying the founders they started enjoying the way which they were no longer enjoying and that is that is 
the religion, you know, the religion, the Christianity that followed the idea, and some of the liberation.